Hello students. So after learning the concept of DUIS, we are going to solve the numerical which is having two parameters and we will solve this numerical by using the rule of differentiation under integral sign. So for that here I have numerical integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus beta x sin alpha x whole upon x dx and we have to evaluate this by using DUIS. Now guys if you see carefully then here we have two parameters alpha and beta and whenever we have two parameters and we want to apply the DUIS then rule says that take any parameter for the integration so here I can consider this integral as i of alpha or i of beta and I'll proceed so let's start so here I'll say let this integrate as i of alpha which is integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus beta x sin of alpha x upon x dx and now we will solve this integration by the rule of duis to get the value so here i'll make it as equation number one and to get the value by the rule of duis we will follow the certain steps so what are the steps so these are the steps here i've just done the step number one now we'll apply the duis on equation number one and i'll find the value of di by d alpha so here let's start with that so here i'll say applying duis rule on equation number one with respect to alpha because we have to consider some of the parameter and here we have considered it as alpha so here we will get by the rule of duis di by d alpha equals to integration 0 to infinity dou by dou alpha of e raised to minus beta x sine of alpha x whole upon x dx so guys this is the definition of duis where on the right hand side with the we take the partial differentiation with respect to parameter and that too inside the integral sign now let's differentiate this function with respect to alpha partially so here this 0 to infinity will remain as it is this will be e raised to minus beta x and upon x outside since it is constant it does not have alpha and the derivative of sine alpha x would be cos of alpha x into x dx now here we can cancel this x and x so we will get e raised to minus beta x cos alpha x and for that we'll find out the integration from 0 to infinity so here i'll say therefore di by d alpha is equal to integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus beta x into cos of alpha x dx now here if you see the function then here we can directly apply the property of integration which you all have studied in the in the 12th standard so here by applying the property we will get e raised to minus beta x upon beta square plus alpha square in bracket minus beta cos of alpha x plus alpha sine of alpha x so this is the standard property now let's apply the upper and lower limit in the value or in the function so by substituting this upper limit as infinity here we will get e raised to minus infinity and e raised to minus infinity is zero so therefore the whole value will be zero minus then we'll substitute the lower limit lower limit is zero so e raised to zero is one upon beta square plus alpha square when we'll put zero here in the cos cos zero will be one and here we will get minus beta sine 0 is 0 and now this will become minus minus that is positive beta upon 
beta square plus alpha square as a value of di by d alpha. So now here we have done the step number two. Now let's follow the step number three, four and five. So as per the step number three, we will integrate both sides to get the value of i of alpha back and we'll make it as equation number two. So for that, I'll integrate both sides with respect to alpha. So here we will get i of alpha equals to, now here beta is a constant. I'll take it outside the integration and in the integration we will get, it is integration for one upon beta square plus alpha square d alpha without limit. Now, after integrating both sides with respect to alpha, here beta will remain as it is and here we will get the integration as 1 by beta into tan inverse of alpha by beta plus c. So guys, here alpha is a variable of integration whereas beta is a constant. So here we can use the formula of tan inverse. Now beta and beta will be cancelled. So we'll get the value of i of alpha as tan inverse alpha by beta plus c and we'll make it as equation number 2. So after this we have to substitute some value of alpha in 1 and 2 and we have to find out the value of c that is constant of integration. So here we have equation number 2 and this is our equation number 1. So now here we have to substitute some value of alpha such that this integral will be evaluated to the finite value. So here we can put alpha as 0. So by substituting alpha as 0 sin 0 will be 0 and this whole term will become 0 and we'll get the value of i of alpha as 0 which is a finite value. And similarly when we'll put alpha as 0 over here still here we will get tan inverse 0 as 0 which is again a finite value. So here I'll say put alpha equals to 0 in equation number 1 and 2. So from 1 we will get i of alpha that is i of 0 equals to 0 and from 2 we will get i of 0 equal to tan inverse of 0 by beta plus c. Now this i of 0 is 0, tan inverse of 0 is 0, so therefore c is equal to 0. And now we will put this value of c in equation number 2 to get the value of i of alpha. So since c is 0, the value of i of alpha is tan inverse of alpha by beta. So here I'll say i of alpha equals to tan inverse of alpha by beta. Now guys, here we have proved the value or we have evaluated the integral by using DUIS. And now we'll see the deduction. Now we have to deduce that the integration 0 to infinity sin alpha x upon x dx is equal to pi by 2. Now guys to get this answer we will use the result which we have proved above. So this result I will rewrite as therefore integration 0 to infinity e raised to minus beta x sin of alpha x whole upon x dx is equal to tan inverse of alpha by beta and now to prove the deduction if I compare this integral with r integral then it does not have e raised to minus beta x term you can see here so to remove that e raised to minus beta x term we will put this beta as 0 so by substituting beta as 0 this will become e raised to 0 which will be 1 and we will get sin alpha x upon x in the question. So here I will say put beta equals to 0. 
so here we will get integration 0 to infinity sine of alpha x upon x dx equal to and when we'll put 0 on the right hand side here we'll get alpha by 0 and that will become infinity and tan inverse of infinity is equal to pi by 2 so guys here we got the value of this integral as pi by 2 as it is asked so here we have learned the dy's numerical and guys if you like this video and if you want to learn more videos more lectures more concepts related to engineering mathematics then do not forget to log into ekida.com and search engineering mathematics you can also follow us on facebook and twitter and you can give your reviews about us on the google as well thank you very much